Hey guys, um, I am going to be doing a tag video and um, I'm going to go ahead and probably get started because it's the 15 random questions tag and it's going to take me probably forever and I don't want you guys to be bored, but I know that some people like to watch these videos, so I thought that I would do it for you guys. Um, first of all, I am in the same place that I always record. It's just um, dark outside now. It's like 6, 14 at night. And, um, so it's pretty dark outside. It actually is really dark, like pitch black. And, um, normally I record, like, with the natural lighting. So, sorry about the lighting and the Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. And, oh, by the way, I got this tag video from, um, Juicy Star 07, um, Blair here on YouTube. But I think she did it, like, forever ago. So, I don't know. I just thought it would be fun. I was bored and I was like, I want to record a video. So, I am recording a video. <clears throat> So the first question is, where were you three hours ago? Three hours ago, what time is it? Six, five, four, three. Um, six, fourteen, three, fourteen. I was at the store at three, fourteen, which was three hours ago. I was at the store. Um, who are you in love with? Well, as you guys know, I have a boyfriend um, that I live with. Um, so um, him and I have been together over two years now. And, um, so of course I'm in love with him. Have you ever eaten a crayon? I don't think so. That's an odd question. Is there anything pink within 10 feet of you? Mm, I don't think so. I have a red cup, but I don't, I honestly don't have anything pink. Oh, my socks. I will take them off and show them to you. Sorry, they got little pink. Can you see? They got little pink stripes on them. Um, let's see. When is the last time you went to the mall? Long time ago. I, the last time I went to the mall was probably before Christmas. Are you wearing socks right now? Yeah, I just showed you my sock. Does your family have a car worth over 2000 Um, my family does, yes. And I do, yes. And, like, my little family, me and my boyfriend, yes, we both have cars that are worth over 2000 um, when was the last time you drove out of town? Last time I drove out of town was probably to go see my parents, um, which, as most of you guys have heard me say plenty of times on here, um, my parents live about two hours away from me. Take that brightness down a little bit. Two, two and a half, three hours. Um, so, that was that. Have you been to the movies in the last five days? No, I haven't. Um, are you hot? No, I'm actually kind of cold. What was the last thing you had to drink? I just had a cup of tea, and um, it was white tea, but it was strawberry-flavored white tea, like hot tea. It was really good. Uh, what are you wearing right now? Um, I'm just wearing my shirt from Hollister that's got the little sparkly Hollister bird on it, and I'm wearing sweatpants because, as you guys all know, that when we film videos here on YouTube, we wear like a nice shirt, which I wouldn't particularly say this is like a super dressy shirt or anything. It's just a t-shirt, but we always wear sweatpants, so a little secret there. Um, sorry about that. Got an email on my phone. Um, do you wash your car or let the car wash do it? It depends. Like if I have the extra money to spend at the car wash, because the car wash is kind of expensive, it's like $15 depending on what you get done, then I may, but sometimes I feel like I wash it better myself if I have the stuff to do it. Um, sometimes I don't always have like the car wax and things like that though. Last food that you ate, um, I made me an omelet um, this afternoon for lunch, so. so that was the last thing I ate. What, uh, where were you last week at this time? What is today? Today is uh, Friday. Where was I last week at this time? La last Friday was New Year's Eve. And at this time last week, I think I was getting ready to go out with my boyfriend to a friend of his, uh, to a, one of his friend's house. <laughs> um, have you bought any clothing items in the last week? No. When is the last time you ran? Probably over the summertime. I don't really do good with, like, I do try to exercise, but I don't do very good with exercising. Um, but I don't mind running. My boyfriend's, like, really into exercising and stuff like that because he's in the military. Um, so, I don't know. I tr I've tried to run with him a few times, and I used to in the summer, but I haven't in a long time. Um, 
what's the last sporting event you watched? I don't, I've never been to a sporting, I think I went to a baseball game one time when I was in school for a field trip, but I hated it. I don't really like sports. Um, if I had to pick a sport, I would pick football because I live in Indianapolis and the Colts are like major, you know, from Indianapolis and stuff. So, um, you know, I like, um, the Colts, you know, and I like to watch the Colts on TV with my boyfriend sometimes, but, um, I've never actually been to a sporting event. Uh, what is your favorite animal? Well, my favorite like house pet animal would definitely have to be cats. Um, I just think they're a lot more easygoing. I love all animals. Don't get me wrong. I love animals. You guys know I'm going to school to be a vet technician. I love dogs. I love cats. I love all animals as long as they're not going to, like, kill me. Um, and I have both. I have a dog and a cat. But um, cats are just my favorite house animals just because they're so easygoing, so laid back. Um, they're so easy to take care of. All you got to do is feed them and clean their litter box. So, um, But if I had to pick, like, an exotic animal or an animal that you don't keep in your house? That would be an awfully hard question for me because it would probably it would probably be some kind of sea animal, like um, not necessarily a dolphin because I wouldn't want to be in the water all the time, but maybe something like a, um, a polar bear or something. Why did I say I wouldn't want to be in the water? I was thinking like if you wanted to be an animal, what animal would you be? Um, but I think like a polar bear would be like one of my favorite animals, a polar bear or even like a grizzly bear because I know they're like so dangerous and probably really mean, but they're just so fucking cute. Um, your dream vacation. My dream vacation, um, as most of you guys know, I've been to Europe. I was, um, I spent six weeks in Italy and it was amazing. I loved it. I went to Rome, went to Venice, Milan. It was completely amazing. Um. But if I had to pick, like, my dream vacation would not be anywhere major. Like, I would be perfectly satisfied just going to, like, the Bahamas or Hawaii. Just, I, my dream vacation would be on just a beautiful, beautiful beach, um, you know, with really blue water, really white sand, you know, just, you know, drinking the little drinks with the umbrellas and sitting on the beach all day. That would be my perfect dream vacation. Um, last person's house you were in. Mm, uh, my boyfriend's m mother's house. Uh, worst injury you've ever had? Well, knock on wood, as I'm doing right now, I have never broke a bone, um, or anything like that. I've never had, like, a major, a major inju injury. The only time I've ever been to the emergency room has been because of an illness or a sickness, which I've had quite a few major sicknesses because I've got an awful immune system. But, um, the worst, like, actual injury I've ever had was, um, I was... I want to say seven, eight years old, seven or eight, and I was bit by a dog when I was younger, and it was actually on my face, and I do have a scar that you can kind of see, and it's right in this area, and you can kind of only see it when I, like, smile, it kind of indents, like, it goes right where my dimples are, but it, it goes up a little bit higher, and it's a little bit more defined than the other side, see, see the difference? Um, so yeah, I was bit by a dog, which I didn't go to the emergency room. I probably should have, but I didn't. Um, so it wasn't like super, super deep, but I did, ha I did have butterfly stitches on it. Um, so that was probably the worst injury I ever had. And it was just, it wasn't a big dog either. It was just a small dog, but I was just bothering him while he was eating and he turned around. It was, it was my fault. <laughs> um, have you been in love? Well, as I told you earlier, I'm in love with my boyfriend right now. Do you miss anyone right now? Um... I miss my family a lot. Like, like I said, I live about two and a half, three hours away from my family, depending on which part I'm going to see. Um, and yeah, I miss them a lot, all the time. I was so used to like seeing my mom, my dad, my sister, things like that every single day, my niece, my nephews, and then all of a sudden I just move and I don't see them at all. Um, last play you saw, it was a long, 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 long time ago, and it was probably a school play. Um, what is your secret weapon to lure in the opposite sex? Um, I don't know. This is an odd question. My secret weapon to lure in the opposite sex? Probably just being me. Like, you gotta be yourself. You can't meet somebody and be like, oh my gosh, my name's Samara, and um, I love to go shopping and put on makeup. Oh my god. You know, you can't act like that. Nobody, nobody likes that. Nobody likes somebody who acts fake. Um, so I guess just be yourself. I don't know, be yourself and, 
you know, don't, whenever, like, I would go on dates and stuff, which, you know, I haven't been on a date to impress somebody in a long time. Me and my boyfriend go out all the time, but, you know, I put my makeup and stuff on, but I don't, I want to look good for him and stuff, but it's like, he already loves me for me, so it doesn't matter if I'm wearing, you know, a plastic bag or if I'm wearing, you know, um, a, a $3,000 dress. He doesn't care. But I would say if you're trying to impress somebody, be yourself. You know, look nice. Do your hair. Do your makeup. But don't pound it on. Don't, you know, do your hair up so much like you're going to need an updo or something. You know, just be yourself. That's the number one rule. Um, what are your plans for tonight? My plans for tonight are nothing. Um, I'm waiting on my boyfriend to get home right now. And his little girl's asleep in the other room, so I'm watching her while he's um, busy. And, um... Well, that's pretty much it. I'm going to cook dinner here in a little bit, but other than that, nothing. Um, who was the last person you sent a MySpace message to or comment? Oh, my gosh. I haven't had MySpace in years, so I don't know. Next trip you're going to take. Um, my boyfriend and I are actually planning on taking a trip. Excuse me. I just burped. On taking a, tri um, taking a trip to Vegas, Las Vegas, um, around my birthday. Um, which my birthday's in May, and we're planning on going maybe um, the second or third week in May, somewhere around there. My birthday is on May 4th, and I'm going to be turning 21, so my boyfriend's taking me to Vegas. Um, oh, I lost my place. Oh, ever go to camp? No. I would have never left my parents that long. Never. Um, were you an honor roll student in school? Most of school, I was an honor roll student, and then I kind of slacked the end of middle school and all through high school, so... I was part of the time, and then I wasn't. Um, what do you want to know about the future? I don't want to know anything about the future. I'm perfectly satisfied not knowing the future. I don't think it's good to know the future. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Back to the Future, the three Back to the Futures with uh, Michael J. Fox. I actually just for the first time watched those with my boyfriend like a week or so ago, and I watched all three of them at one time. It was a marathon on TV. And, like, the doctor on there, he's like, or, yeah, the doctor, scientist guy, he was like, you have to be careful because you can't know about your future. You know, if you know about your future, it's just the fun. There's no fun to it, so I wouldn't want to know anything. Um, are you wearing any perfume or cologne? Not right now. I'm not. Um, are you due sometime this year for a doctor's visit? For, yeah, I am. I need to go to the doctor right now because I'm sick. Um, where is your best friend? My best friend is back in Terre Haute slash Clinton, where I'm from. Well, I'm originally from Clinton, but a lot of my family and stuff live in Terre Haute. My best friend lives in Terre Haute with her boyfriend and her um, little girl. And um, the next question is, how is your best friend? She's doing really good, actually. She's um, just finished up with her school, and she's got a new job, and um, she's doing really good. Um, do you have a tan? Uh, no, obviously, I'm really pale. <laughs> what are you listening to right now? I'm not listening to anything. Do you collect anything? I collect makeup. Uh, who is the biggest gossiper you know? I'm not going to mention her here. Um, because this is like, anybody can watch this. But there is one person in the town where I'm from, <clears throat> and it is a female person. And, um... She's somebody that I knew through my mother. It's an older, older lady. And, well, not super old, but, you know, just older than me. And she is the nicest person you will ever know. But I'm telling you what, you don't tell her nothing because she will run and tell anybody and everybody whatever you told her. So, uh, last time you got stopped by a cop or pulled over. Knock on wood, not for too long because I can't honestly remember. I think it was back around, like, May or June. Have you ever drank your soda from a straw? Yeah, I drink my soda from a straw all the time. Uh, when I drink soda, but I don't drink soda that much. What does your last text message say? I knew there was going to be a question like that. There's always a question about text messages. <coughs> my very last text message that I got was from my niece. And it was something personal that I'm not going to say out loud, but... um. It was talking about boys. And then my one before that <clears throat> was for my mom, and she said, love you. Aw, love you too, Mommy. Um, do you like hot sauce? Sometimes, and if it's not super, super hot. Last time you took a shower, um, I took a bath this morning. I didn't take a shower this morning, but I did take a bath. Um, 
do you need, so the last time I took a shower was yesterday, but I did take a bath this morning, don't think I'm dirty. <laughs> do you need to do laundry? Not really, I just did laundry. Uh, what is your heritage? Um, I have Italian in me and um, a Native American, uh, Cherokee. Um, are you someone's best friend? Yes, I am. Are you rich? No, I wish I was. <laughs> what were you doing at 12 a.m. last night? I was sleeping. So, yeah, that's my 50 random questions tag. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was kind of just a fun, laid-back um, tag so that you guys can get to know me. Um, check out the rest of my videos if you want, and I'll see you guys in my next, in my next video. Bye.